You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa chaired a meeting of the Government Executive Committee. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underscored the progress made in efforts to monitor and prevent the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19, noting that these efforts are underpinned by the commitment of citizens and residents to social responsibility under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of citizens, residents and visitors, underlining the national responsibility that is centered on all to combat the virus. Following consideration of a report submitted by the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus headed by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the following decisions were taken effective tomorrow. All public and private entities shall continue to function while encouraging remote working when possible. Retail and grocery stores and shopping complexes shall open within normal hours, taking into consideration the Ministry of Health social distancing recommendations. The activities of all restaurants, tourist facilities and places for serving food and beverages are limited to external orders and deliveries. Movie theaters will be closed. All commercial sports gymnasiums, fitness studios, swimming pools and recreational activities are to be closed, limiting the services offered by shisha cafes to takeout and delivery of food and beverages only. Designate the first hour of grocery store openings for the elderly and pregnant women to reduce interactions, limiting public gatherings to 20 people or under, and committing to staying at home as much as possible and going out for necessities only. Encouraging citizens and residents to avoid non-essential travel abroad, testing all incoming passengers and obliging them to undergo mandatory 14-day self-isolation. It was also decided until further notice to suspend studying in public and private schools, higher education institutions and kindergartens. Administrative and educational professionals will continue to work but are encouraged to work remotely whenever possible. The Ministry of Education has been directed to take all necessary measures to mitigate against impact on the education process where possible. The National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus continues to encourage compliance with all health guidelines issued. These guidelines include washing hands thoroughly with soap, refraining from close interactions and covering the mouth and nose with a tissue while coughing or sneezing. The government executive committee affirmed that these are precautionary measures introduced to safeguard the well-being of citizens and residents, noting the wide-ranging contributions of Team Bahrain.
The representative of His Majesty the King for a Chair to Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, said that the, the Kingdom of Bahrain has taken numerous measures to overcome the exceptional circumstances it is undergoing in light of the spread of the coronavirus. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Among those measures is the directive of the Central Bank to banks and financial institutions to postpone loan payments for a period of six months, which will create financial liquidity for all citizens to revitalize the economy and alleviate the burden on citizens, particularly the youth. His Highness added that many Bahraini youth who own small and medium-sized enterprises need such support to continue their work normally. His Highness called on banks and financial institutions to comply with the directives of the central bank. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to national banks for their efforts and initiatives and to the officials that follow up the directives of the central bank. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting chaired by its speaker, Fawziya Zainal, in which it approved a draft law adding a second paragraph to Article 159 of the Law of Criminal Procedures and a draft law amending a number of provisions of the aforementioned law. The Council also approved a draft law replacing the first article of decree by Law 2 of 2001 on non Bahrainis ownership of real estate properties. The Council approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of Law 13 of 1975 on regulating retirement salaries and benefits of government employees. The government of Bahrain today announced a 4.3 billion dinar economic stimulus package to support the country's citizens and private sector encounter the effects of the coronavirus COVID-19. At a press conference, a number of government ministers set out an unprecedented package of policy measures to directly support citizens, residents and businesses in the kingdom. The 4.3 billion dinar stimulus package is equivalent to 29.6% of Bahrain's annual GDP. Under the leadership of His Majesty the King and under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the ministers announced an 8 point economic package that commits the government to referring a draft law concerning paying the salaries of all private sector employees for three months from April 2020 from the unemployment fund following constitutional procedures and in line with the social insurance law. Paying individuals and businesses electricity and water authority utility bills for three months from April 2020 up to the costs incurred during the same period in 2019, whilst also restructuring government administrative costs to offset additional costs incurred by the government. Exempting all individuals and businesses for municipal fees for three months from April 2020, exempting all businesses from industrial land rental fee for three months from April 2020, exempting all tourism related industry from tourism levies for three months from April 2020, doubling the liquidity support fund to 200 million dinars, increasing the Central Bank of Bahrain's loan facilities to 3.7 billion dinars to allow debt installments to be deferred and extra credit to be extended, the redirection of all Temkin programs to support adversely affected companies, as well as the restructuring of all debt issued by Temkin. The government ministers emphasized the commitment of the kingdom's leadership to supporting unprecedented circumstances with an unprecedented policy response and to doing all within their power to protect the health, safety and prosperity of all those within the kingdom. In line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zayn bin Rashid Al Zayani today chaired an expanded meeting with members of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, and the representatives of the main food companies in the kingdom. The meeting focused on the status of the kingdom's food stocks and the importance of their continuous provision in accordance with the global developments of the coronavirus COVID-19. The minister stressed the need for cooperation and coordination among all parties concerned, as well as for you unified efforts to ensure the continuity of the economic development process in the kingdom and the provision of sufficient food stocks for a period of not less than six months. Azayani underlined the keenness of the government and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to put in place all mechanisms and measures to prevent any shortage in the local market, emphasizing the need for concerted efforts by all parties concerned to contain any repercussions of this global challenge naturally and smoothly. He valued highly all dedicated national efforts exerted by the relevant authorities to achieve the kingdom's interests. The meeting discussed various proposals made by the representatives of food companies. The minister instructed the industry ministry specialized team to enhance cooperation with food merchants to ensure the continuous provision of basic commodities to the consumers for the next six months easily and smoothly. 
Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed Ramehi stressed that the transparency of the information provided by competent authorities contributed to the success of the preventative measures against the novel coronavirus COVID-19. Receiving the editors-in-chief of the local newspapers, the minister underlined the confidence of the public and the official media and Bahraini press as credible source of accurate information. He commended the compliance of citizens and residents with the instructions lauding Bahrain's awareness and trust in the official media despite fake news and rumors being circulated on social media websites. The minister added that the competent authorities have issued so far over 50 statements ever since the first confirmed case was announced, citing press conferences to provide an update on the virus developments which reflects Bahrain's commitment to credibility and transparency. He underlined the ministry's role via its media platforms to raise public awareness, stressing strong cooperation between the official authorities in charge of combating the spread of the virus, commending Bahrainis who played a crucial role in the success of the efforts to combat the virus. The minister lauded sustained cooperation with the Shura Council and Council of Representatives. That's reflecting firm ties with the executive branch of government and unwavering support for the efforts to combat coronavirus, which won Bahrain the World Health Organization's praise. He outlined the precautionary measures undertaken by the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, praised the strenuous efforts exerted by the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior, the Supreme Council of Health, the Ministry of Health, in addition to other government departments which joined ranks and stood at the front line during these critical circumstances. The minister saluted the press and media institutions for their role in disseminating awareness and cementing the national unity, lauding their responsible efforts to highlight the preventative measures to combat COVID-19 and commitment to transparency, which supported the dedicated endeavor of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19.